This video gives an overview of Traffic Management Center or TMC operations and how the Cave in a Box can enhance its operations from a connected and automated vehicle or CAV perspective and shape the future of TMCs that will incorporate intelligent transportation system capabilities. Most of the existing TMCs are not yet prepared to incorporate CAV data in traffic management. As more CAVs will be operating on our nation's roadways, it is important for TMCs to monitor and manage operations to ensure an efficient transportation network. The Cave in a Box Toolkit can offer a potential solution by conducting message handling between TMCs and CAVs connecting to traffic signal cabinets and other components in the transportation network including pedestrians, bicycles, and temporary traffic control devices. This video can also serve as a training resource for the emerging workforce who may need knowledge of TMC operations for efficient CAV movement. There are a large variety of different sized TMCs depending on the location and needs of that community. Currently, the primary function of a TMC is to facilitate efficient movement throughout a jurisdiction by managing the traffic signals at intersections, trading timing plans in and out of the signal controllers as needed, and monitoring incidents along the roadway to ensure smooth traffic operation. TMC operators manage and monitor traffic flows on freeways and arterials, including intersections. While monitoring traffic flow, many TMC operators used closed circuit television or CCTV systems to verify incidents, and alert proper authorities and approaching drivers about incident areas. They may use dynamic message signs, or DMS, highway advisory radio, or HAR, or low power FM radio, 511 traveler information systems, and other online third party communications to disseminate such information to the public. Operators also have the capability to deploy emergency response teams, such as fire, police, paramedics, and or safety service patrols to turn on the traffic signal controllers to flashing and alert other agencies to manage incidents. TMCs thus contribute to saving lives, time, money, and wasted fuel for drivers. As CAV adoption continues to increase, ITS tools such as Cave in a Box can be placed at each signal, forming a series of connected intersections that can be monitored and managed by a TMC. TMCs usually intake and process a variety of data and transmit the messages for operational purposes. These messages include status messages such as traffic data that are sent to the TMC, messages on travel time, detour routes, and speeds from real-time traffic monitoring around work zones through DMS, AM FM radio, and online updates. Many of the applications supported by Cave in a Box can eventually be integrated with TMC operations. As CAVs become more abundant, more connected and automated vehicle messages formatted to the Society of Automotive Engineers SAE J2735 standards will be sent to and from the TMC. The SAE standard specifies a message set, its data frames and elements for use by applications intended to utilize the cellular CV2X and or dedicated short-range communication system. Basic safety messages, SPAT, and MAP messages sent through these communications will be of high value to TMCs in the future as they can be used for determining vehicle patterns, optimizing traffic, and understanding many other performance metrics such as delays and crashes. The SAE J2735 standard messages could be sent to a TMC in a variety of ways. One method of this transfer is to enable a secure connection from the roadside units or RSUs to a TMC and sending formatted messages. Another example of this message transfer can be sending a basic safety message to a central server using 4G or 5G wired or fiber connected to a server which transfers the messages to the TMC. Cave in a Box can support all these data transfer functionalities through different interfaces customized according to the TMC specific data format included in the Traffic Management Data Dictionary or TMDD. In addition, Cave in a Box can also support the evolving applications and data types from TMCs to efficiently manage traffic operations on roadways. We also recommend watching the other videos in this series for more information on some of these messages. 
For example, to provide information about work zones to the travelers on roadways, TMCs use a secured connection to disseminate roadway information to the RSU, which will transmit that information to the vehicle OBUs. Cave in a Box can play a role in this process as a secured message handler between TMCs and vehicles on the roads. Once the work zone message has been created at the TMC, this message is then routed to Cave in a Box using the secured available network connection. Cave in a Box then can process and broadcast that message to the nearby vehicles through built-in RSUs. TMCs will also need to be able to monitor the health of the entire connected intersection system. This would include checking that all signal controllers and devices are up and running. More advanced monitoring for safety could include detailed status notifications, such as the instance of an opening signal controller cabinet door, signal controllers losing power, signal heads losing power, or other issues to be sent to the TMC. Additionally, during power outages, certain TMCs may also have redundancy by allowing remote devices to store any data locally at the intersections until a network connection has been reestablished. Cave in a Box can support system monitoring functionalities such as Kafka messaging using its robust network capabilities. Please refer to our Cave in a Box video to fully understand its capability. TMC functionalities such as data storage methods, data security, and a system fail-safe protocol must be considered to ensure the accuracy and completeness of the data. Specific physical and software safety measures need to be undertaken, including isolating the central software from field equipment to maintain the security of the system and to protect it from unauthorized or malicious access. The analytics conducted using the data at the TMC has to be done securely, including secure data connection, maintenance using controlled access, storage and processing using secured database and cloud-based servers. Additional security procedures would also be needed to interface the TMC network with the main agency network. For example, many TMCs keep their network and agency networks separate to minimize security threats. In addition to this, the inference from the analysis that needs to be shared with different entities should go over secure channels to avoid uninvited meddling. To fully support such security requirements for data transfer and connectivity, TMCs will require a secure connection to each intersection's cave in a box. Using firewalls and dedicated virtual private networks, cave in a box can provide a secured network connection to the traffic management center's network backhaul. For a secure network connection, a firewall will be required on both ends and the TMC can be accessed by port forwarding over a large scale network, for example, 4G or 5G from the Vita X subcomputer on Cave in a Box. These security measures are important in securing the data that goes between the components within Cave in a Box and the TMC. Any connections to external devices like the ones stationed at the work zones will also have to be secured using available security measures. Cave in a Box can play a significant role in enhancing TMC operations and efficiency by enabling data exchange between CAVs and TMCs. TMCs can then use the data for a variety of applications to improve the roadway operations by comparing real-time and historical data. TMCs can also use this data in applications related to travel time reliability analysis or incident, weather, and work zone management. Let's review what we've learned. First, we learned a general overview of TMC and its operation. Then, we learned how Cave in a Box may connect to TMCs in the future to enhance operation and efficiency in the CAV world. We also briefly learned the data management and security aspects of TMCs and how Cave in a Box can help to maintain those functionalities. By applying the knowledge from this video, we can understand how testing kits such as Cave in a Box can impact the operation and efficiency of transportation systems through timely coordination with TMCs. Note that not all TMCs are equipped to incorporate CAV data. However, Cave in a Box shows a promising solution and can contribute to smarter TMCs in a very cost-effective way as more CAVs are operating on our nation's roadways. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at CAVSupportServices at DOT.gov. Follow along with the rest of the video sequence as we discuss other vital system components.